Well, hi. Welcome back to the Green Connection. I hope you're uh, noticing that we're having some finally some new shows. And today we're on the parking lot of the City of San Antonio Fleet Maintenance Operations uh, Department. Um, and we've got some exhibits of non-polluting uh, electric and various other non-polluting fueled uh, vehicles. And uh, the City of San Antonio, I think, is planning, to, they're sponsoring this exhibit. And I think that they're planning to use a lot of these vehicles on their own, uh, in their own properties so that they can save on gas, save money, and also save on pollutants. Uh, our guest today is Curtis King, and he is uh, the, well, he's the king of the uh, smart vehicles or the vehicles that run without polluting. Welcome to the Green Connection. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks for San Antonio inviting me down. Uh, my background is in this market. Uh, I've been in it 35 years. Uh, the very first low speed vehicle that I sold was back in 1981 to Texas Christian University. And the market has progressed to now we're looking at new technology coming on to the point that we have ethanol, which is your corn based fuel. You have electric, which of course is 100% uh, zero emission, uses no gas. You have your propane, which is your byproduct off of your refining process that is now used in these vehicles. Uh, this particular truck that you're seeing here is uh, manufactured by a company called Vantage International out of Corona, California. So it is a U.S. built product, which is a, a good positive for us. It's built right there in Corona and, and gives a lot of people jobs. <laughs> yeah, make up for the jobs we're losing with the big guys, right? <laughs> exactly. And it, it's not a big company, but it's a solid company. And that's one of the things that's in this industry that that we, we have to look at and that what I have recommended to the city uh, of San Antonio to, uh, to guide them that they don't go in a direction, because I know all the manufacturers, and to help them make the right choice to spend their money wisely and to reduce the carbon footprint that we, we're seeing so uh, much. Of. That's becoming more uh, obvious in, in San Antonio. They're, they're just about almost not making the, the uh, requirements for the uh, uh, carbon footprint, which is going to cost them some money as far as uh, funding and, and grants and that sort of thing. Uh, There's multiple cities in Texas that are struggling with that right now. and. Um, the, the interest has to be there to go with a zero emission type vehicle, even a hybrid type vehicle, because an electric vehicle doesn't solve all problems. You still have uh, different type of vehicles that you need, but even from the garbage trucks, you have your, uh, your big uh, truck manufacturers going to hybrids where they run on electric and then will go over to uh, the diesel. That way they, they can cut out about 20% of their uh, emissions that are coming out so the, it's a it's a real exciting time for for us 